In this video, we will learn about the economic applications of differential equations. This is probably the sixth video on differential equations. The question is, consider the two-sector model, that is, change in income with respect to time is a function of positive linear function of, uh, you know, uh, 0.5 times uh, consumption plus investment minus income. Consumption function is being given us here. Uh, C is equal to 0 0.8, Y plus 400, investment is 600. We have to find the expression for Y T. Uh, and also the initial condition is when y0 is equal to 7000 we have to see whether the system is stable or not okay so how do we solve this very question first thing is we write our expression that is dy upon dt we substitute the value of consumption and investment in this function that is 0 0.5 in place of uh, c we have 0 0.8 y plus 400 in place of i we have 600 minus y okay so this will come out to be dy upon dt i will not uh, you know solve it here because i don't have uh, you know my space here so it will come out to be minus 0 0.1 y plus 500 okay so this comes out to be dy upon dt transposing it here it will become plus 0.1 y is equal to 500 okay so this is uh, uh, in a standard form that is we have seen it uh, in the earlier video it is in this fashion that is dy upon dt plus vy is equal to z this is our first order linear differential equations in place of v we have this uh, 0.5 okay in place of z we have 500 sorry okay now the uh, solution for a first order linear differential equation is being given by so solution is being given us uh, in this fashion that means yt will be equal to it is equal to e raised power minus the integral of uh, v dt uh, times a plus the integral of z e raised power uh, the integral of v dt times dt okay this is the uh, you know general solution of this first order linear differential equation and when we solve this will come out to be y t is equal to e raised power the integral of uh, dt is t in place of v we have this 0 0.1 so i will write minus 0 0.1 in place of dt we will write t because integral of dt is t okay uh, plus sorry we have then a a uh, plus again the integral of in place of z we have 500 let me write it here 500 e raised power the integral of v dt will be here t so we will get vt in place of v uh, we have again 0 0.1 0 0.1 uh, t with respect to dt okay uh, let us solve it again that means our yt is equal to e raised power minus 0 0.1 t uh, we have a plus now the integral of this function will be we will have 500 the integral of e raised power 0 0.1 t will come out to be uh, e raised power 0 0.1 t divided by 0 0.1 this is the basic uh, rule of the integration you know it plus the constant of integration we will not write it because that will be subsumed into this arbitrary constant that means our yt is equal to a e raised power minus 0 0.1 t uh, plus e raised power minus 0 e raised power minus 0 0.1 t e raised power minus 0 0.1 t when we multiply it bases are same we add up the exponent exponent becomes 0 e raised power 0 is 1 so we are left with 500 upon 0 0.1 500 upon 0 0.1 that means yt is equal to a e raised power minus 0 0.1 t uh, plus 500 upon point 0.1 comes out to be 5000 okay this is the general solution of this 
uh, first order linear differential equation why it is general solution because this constant is not being specified we have an arbitrary constant here okay uh, so we will call this as the general solution now to find the particular solution and let me write it here uh, this thing is called the complementary function and this is our um, uh, particular integral or particular solution okay now to find the value of arbitrary constant uh, we use the initial con condition now initial condition is being told us that why not let us first find out uh, y zero so let us plug the value of t is equal to zero in this equation so we will get a uh, e raised power so in place of t we have zero so if we have here zero minus 0 0.1 times 0 it will become 0 so we have e raised power 0 it will become 1 so this expression will become 1 so we will be left with only a plus 5000 okay uh, which gives us uh, a will be equal to the initial condition uh, minus 5000 now initial condition is being given us uh, that is y0 is equal to 7000 that gives us 7000 minus 5000 that gives us the value of a comes out to be 2000 okay now what is uh, then our particular solution so our particular solution now our a is being specified that means yt uh, and let me write it here uh, the solution will be yt is equal to uh, in place of a we have 2000 now 2000 then we have e raised power minus 0 0.1 t okay plus 5000 this is the expression for yt okay where uh, this a uh, this is called the particular solution uh, this is our you know general solution when the arbitrary constant is not uh, specified now you can see it here when this t tends to infinity when this t approaches to zero this whole term will approach to zero why let me show it here so when uh, let us say when t is infinity it will become e raised power infinity into minus 0 0.1 this is minus infinity we will get e raised power minus infinity and we know e raised power minus infinity is equal to zero okay so uh, here when t and let me write it here when uh, t uh, approaches to infinity the first term on the rhs converge towards zero and consequently yt will eventually settle down to an equilibrium value of 5000 okay if this becomes zero so our yt will settle down to the equilibrium level of 5000 and we say the system is stable why because this yt approaches to this 5000 this and uh, the uh, first term on rhs settles uh, down to zero when time tends to infinity okay so uh, it is very simple it means that yt eventually settles down to this uh, equilibrium uh, value of 5000 okay and the system is stable let me give uh, the graphical explanation to make the things more clear here okay so if i uh, do one thing if i plot uh, let me write it here when we graph here let us say we have t on this side we have income on this side when we graph y against t what shows it so we got the equilibrium value is 5000 okay and our initial condition was so initial condition was we have 7000 here it is 7000 okay so this was our expression in this fashion so where have i written this is our expression that is uh, yt yt is equal to no this is our expression that is 200 2000 2000 
uh, e raised power minus 0 0.1 t plus 5000 okay so when we uh, draw the graph of income end with respect to time here it shows that this yt decreases from its initial value of 7000 okay and settles down uh, and settles uh, down at the value of 5000 okay so it goes down and down and ultimately it uh, reaches to the equilibrium value of 5000 when t tends to infinity okay when time uh, uh, tends to infinity